Hey there, y'all. Welcome to our first Wild Card Wednesday, where we can have any kind of video. Not just new reviews, but old reviews, vintage doll unboxings, some fun tutorials, really whatever I'm feeling like for the week. And this week is the Princess of the Danish Court Barbie. Now, she is part of the Princess Dolls of the Worlds collection. She is a collector edition, and her box is majorly, like, screwed up. She has got a lot going on on the back of the box. She was made in, let's see. This was when? I don't see any dates on here. Um, I'm not sure when she was made. It was definitely in the 90s or the 2000s. This is not an 80s Barbie. This is a Mackie, so it was sometime after 91. Um, oh, 2002. Okay, there she is. Um, so she was made in 2002. She's very cute. These were all kind of done in Renaissance styles. And so they're very fun. And so I thought, you know, what better doll to unbox for our first Wacky Wednesday or Wild Card Wednesday, whatever I feel like calling it that week, even its name isn't fixed. <laughs> um, unboxing. And again, I picked her up a while back, probably about a year ago, and she's just been sitting here waiting to be unboxed for $5.99 at Goodwill. She was actually 50% off that price, so I think I got her for like $3 total. Um, so yeah, she was a really good deal, especially since her box is messed up. So let's get her unboxed. Let's see the princess of the Danish court. Okay. So we've got an old style stand. Again, we're not caring about this box. This box is already pointless to us. It's the middle saddle stand. She has got no shoes on because her shoes were in a separate little baggie over here. So she's got some fun little, like, I don't know what you would even call this kind of shoe. Shoes. <laughs> Very fun little molds. Again, this is 2002. So this is before Barbie really started going down in quality. The original price on these dolls was probably like $20, which is a little more expensive for back in the day, but was still within a, like, normal price point. So we're not mad about that, really. Let's see, we've got our stand bottom. Very fun. We can assemble that, ready to go. There a special way these stands go in? Yes, this way. Come on, thingy. Stop fighting me. Okay, it's there. It's fine. Um, these come out pretty easily, really, back in the day. Um, they had a couple of twist ties but not usually very much as far as like random unnecessary things holding the side of the dress to the box or something like that. So they're a lot easier to unbox kind of uh, vintage dolls. All right, so we got 
those done. And then we're gonna just quietly take this part off so we can see where she's actually attached. Okay, there we go. All right. So we got her out without too much effort. It's always nice when we don't have to, um, you know, unentomb our Barbies. But we still have to get her shackles off. So there we go. Very pretty castle in the background. Uh, but so many holes in the box that it's not worth saving it for a background. But very pretty dress. No crinoline, kind of surprising. Uh, it's all one piece, which is good. The dress is sewn on, which I honestly wasn't expecting. Um, so you can't redress this Barbie without kind of destroying this dress, which is a little bit sad. Um, but that's okay. She's a Mackie. She's got kind of a unique hairstyle. I wasn't planning on taking this doll and adding her to my really like permanent collection as far as dolls that get redressed and things like that. Can, let's see. There we go. But she's very cute, as you can see. We love a fun hair. She's got her little tiara. She does have her little uh, registration thing. Barbie collectibles by mail catalog. Oh God, back in the day. Um, back when catalogs were a thing and Mattel actually knew what they were doing as far as collector dolls. And it wasn't everything bought up by scalpers immediately. But, as we can see, we've got a brocade fabric here in the middle. Nice quality fabric right there. A sateen for the overskirt and sleeves and bodice. Actual lace that's not plastic, which is nice. She's got a little choker. Her hair is sewn to the dress to keep it secure in that little uh, tail. She's got very cute earrings. Lovely tiara with actual paste jewels on there. And a great Mackie face up. So she is a very cute doll and very fun. Now, I don't know what's gonna happen with her. I might, um, I might just take her and um, put her in my box of dolls that I have that are going to be displayed later on when I have more room. But for now, she's not going to get redressed or anything like that because of her um, hairstyle. Because I don't know what's going on with her hair. She's going to have two long streaks and then curly hair if you take down that ponytail. Like, that's going to be kind of wild hair. She's not even worth trying to restyle. Um, but... She's gorgeous. I'm a little sad that this dress isn't removable because I did want to kind of take it for some of my other dolls for like a Halloween costume kind of thing. And the only thing I don't love about this dress is this little bow right here. Um, but that's okay. But yeah, she's a really cute doll. Like, and again, I paid like two fifty dollars for her, like $2.50, not $250. She's not worth that. These dolls, even in great condition, max out at around $30 value, unless there are some of the rare ones like Polynesian Islands that nobody picked up for some reason, um, and things like that. But she's really cute. So I'm glad I took her out of the box. I'm a little bummed that you can't take her outfit and redress her, but that's okay. She was supposed to be a collector's Barbie, so that's kind of how I expected it to go, really, at the end. Um, but yeah, so if y'all have any questions on this, 
to all let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed this Wacky Wednesday, Wild Card Wednesday, let me know in the comments. And uh, let's keep it going. All right, y'all. Be good. Bye.